Hi there, it's Rachel Gregg. In today's video, I wanna share with you our new products that we've released for July 2022. We've got two new packets of collage sheets, plus we've got 12 new small stencils. So in this video, I just wanna share with you some ideas and inspiration, and also what you can do with them in your own projects. So I'll just set aside all these stencils and I'll just go through those after I show you the collage sheets. But we've got here, we've got two new collage sheet packs. One is called Botanical Notes and the other one is called Elegant Ladies. So these Botanical Notes, these are taken from photographs that I've taken and the Elegant Ladies are from some vintage images that can be used really nicely in your projects. So I'm just going to open these up and just show you all the sheets that are in each pack. So you can see here we've got some film strip pages so there's our pack we've got the collage sheet little header card and you could also use these as well um, if you're doing like ATCs or smaller projects so always utilize everything in the pack okay so here's a look at the botanical notes pack so this first sheet here has nine images now these are approximately um, ATC size so you could use these on ATCs or just mix and match them for your other projects really good for card making we've got like a faux postage page here and these are really great because you can use them in different um, variations so you could have long strips of them you could do little boxes of four you could do nine um, six anything like if you wanted to do like a border along your cards there's so many different ways you can utilize those images these ones here we've got some circles now these are sized to fit some punches so we've got a two inch punch here which fits this size here really good i'll just punch out one here just to show you so you can simply just punch out these circles and that just punches out like that uh, so that's a two inch size punch and then the next size here that's a one and a half inch size so you just simply punch those out and then the little ones up the top here are a one inch size so just a one inch size punch there and then just going across there and then you can punch those out so you can see how easy they are to punch out and these little circles you could make little clusters if you want to on your projects or just use them individually they'd work really nicely like on cards or for journal little journal highlights like if you want little focal images for your journals so that's a really cool sheet there then we've got the tags so these here they don't have a hole in it that's ready for you to punch a hole into it if you want to so otherwise they've just got the little tag shape which is a really fun design we've also got some really large images so this sheet here has just got four really large images which is perfect if you want a really bold focal point for your cards or any other project for art journals uh, they fit really good here for like a six by six because these are six inches high um, so they fit really nicely on a six inch journal um, or they fit really well on a large a4 size journal as well as a really bold focal point there and then we've got the film strips and these of course can be used as an entire sheet you could tear down like this side here or in random situations or you can also just trim them out to create strips and that works really well for again creating artwork for your journal pages or if you wanted to do little borders here for journals or for cards or for your scrapbooks so that's a look at the botanical notes and then just showing you the elegant ladies and the different imagery that is within this pack so I'll just take away that sheet there. Again, you've got your little small sized ones that you could use these little images as well for small projects. So we've got our nine images here and these are taken from old vintage postcards. So they have the real postage on the images, which is a fun little design. And then here's our faux postage page. So you've got lots of different ways you can use these as well. Again, in your strips or your little clusters of imagery. Again, we've got our little circle imagery that you can use with the two inch, the one and a half and the one inch circles. 
And then we've got some really bold images here that you can use for your projects. And these work really great in art journals. So you could leave the images as a rectangle or you could cut around the ladies here in these images, especially this profile image works really well. You could create like paper doll bodies for these images or just leave them um, and create different borders and other artwork underneath. And here's another nine up page here with different beautiful portraits here that you could use. And then lastly, we've got the film strip, which again, you can use as strips or little different clusters for your projects. So here's a couple of ideas on how you can use them. This is just a card that I've created here using the, uh, the nine up here. So this one here. So you can see this image is actually rectangle, but what I've done is I've used the Gothic Arches stencil to use that as a template. If I find the Gothic Arches, it's just this one here. So using that stencil as a template to then trace around on that image and then turning that into that shape. So that's one way you can use them. Here's some tags, just simply trimming out the images and then sticking on some tags and creating some really nice little collage tags. And they would work really well, like say if you wanted to use them in your journals, they fit really good for traveler's notebooks. Um, again, you can use tags for so many different ways in other types of journals. So the collage sheets work really well for card making and for your art journals and for tags and lots of other mixed media projects. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the stencils. And I'll just start here with the shaped stencils. So we've done four arch stencils and these include the positive and the negative shape. So it means you could use this negative shape in here to sponge ink through it or, or to trace around it or like what I did with this card here is trace around that to create these shapes. There's so many different ways and the same with the mask. If you wanted to sponge ink over the top of that so then you've got this hollow section inside. There's lots of different ways you can use those. We've got the round arch, the OG arch, the gothic arch and the convex arch. So here's another way you can use it. This is what I've done in one of my journals here. And this is the one I use the OG arch and used it as a little highlight for the journal page to stamp a quote inside. But I've also used it here to create the border. So what I've done here is just used this, uh, the positive section and then just put it against the page and traced around it to then trim out this shape of the journal page. So it means you can create some really interesting borders. It doesn't always just have to be about that shape. You've got all these interesting points um, and little shapes here that you can use to create some edges and borders for your projects. The other ways you can use these are for little windows. So you could create some little windows, especially with this round arch. It looks really cool as windows. And then you've got the, the Gothic arch and the convex arch, which can also be used to create some tombstones if you want to do projects for Halloween or anything where you want it to be a little bit grungy and scary. So there's some options for those ones. So some other ways you can use them, you can stamp through them like with one of our background stamps. You can also use them to create ATCs. So if you want to use them as a template, so you can create some little rounded or shaped edges to create a shaped ATC. The other thing you can do is create tags. So use them to like punch a hole at the top and use them to create some tags. And then you can also use them to create a swatch tag. So if you want to swatch out some of your um, inks or your stamp supplies or your painting supplies, then you can use those to create some tags and create some really nice swatches. Okay, next up we have some other shapes. So we have the three circle stencil, which includes again the negative and the positive shape. So you've got the masks and the open areas. Same with our semicircles. So you've got the positive shapes and then the negative shapes. 
this is called half arches and then this is called striped arch so there's some really cool things you can do with that with the circle stencil you can use these to create moons so if you wanted to use this positive and then sponge ink around it that'll leave that area white and then you've got some really cool moons or if you want to sponge through it then you can create some full suns or full moons uh, you can also create like a bokeh effect so if you want to create a really soft background for your cards or over the top of some of the collage pieces as well uh, the collage sheets so there's some really interesting things it's always fun to have some circles you can also create some really nice backgrounds you can gel print with them stencil paint through them um, or sponge some ink through them there's lots of different ways to use that one you can use the semicircles one in the same way this one's really interesting because it can create some really nice geometric patterns and it's also really good for creating uh, moons and suns as well so here's a couple of cards or projects or a matching set that I've created here using the, so I use the small semicircle here. You can see for this sun and I sponged some ink through that and then I use the sunshine stencil behind it and then you press down the positive shape to mask the sun while you're doing the sun rays behind it so you can create you know really nice effects using that as well you can create some bigger ones so I use this middle one here to create a matching envelope so then you've got the envelope here with the card and you can send them together using those stencils you can also create some other interesting patterns so on this card here you can create like fun little flowers and then we have the half arches now this is a really interesting design i wanted to have lots of different options here for different sized arches where you can create or ink around or trace around with a pen and then flip the stencil and then do it again on this side to create the mirror image and then that would create a frame so that it would have like a centerpiece down the center but it also creates some really retro effects so this one here just depends on how you Sorry, I'll just grab this card if you just, how you stencil it up. So this here, I've just used that larger area for creating this little color here and then flipping the stencil the other way and creating that. So it kind of looks like it's one of those really retro designs. And with these other ones, you've got smaller versions. And this one here, this is actually a quarter of a circle. So you could use that, flip it, flip it, flip it if you wanted to create some interesting colored circles as well so there's lots of different ways you can also mix and match it with some of these semicircles uh, the same with some of these circles as well so you could combine these three to create some really interesting geometric patterns and then we've got our little striped arch at the end which is also um, a great stencil for creating some really retro effects so you've got things like this i've done um, a fun little watercolor background here using watercolors you can bump it up against each other to create some really retro effects as well and then here's a little art journal page i did with some colored ones just using different colors so if you use some different colors you can just create you know bright and bold things or depending on your color choices you know how retro you want to go with that design and you can also use it for a journaling spot for your journals as well so the area inside this striped arch is large enough for you to journal into or create some words some rounded words so whether you go straight up and you know repeat the design or whether you go sideways and use the sideways part of those stencils so there's lots of you know just some different ideas for you to use in your projects so then we've got our strip stencils so we've got the three strips the five strips the three wonky strips and the five wonky strips so you could use these in a number of different ways you can use them as backgrounds for your cards so in this card here i've used it as a little background blended some different colors there uh, this one's using the three wonky strips and using it to put little three flowers in so you can use it for a little template for stamping inside of or you can also just use it for backgrounds so just depending on if you wanted to use different colored backgrounds um, or if you wanted to change up the different 
ways and blend it out. Uh, you can also use it for gel printing to create some really interesting backgrounds like that. Again, you can journal with them. So you can utilize these areas here to put words inside of and journaling. You can also use it for envelopes. So if you wanted to use these stencils as a template and just trace around them, and then you've got an area to write the address inside your envelopes as well. So there's a number of different ways you can use those. Again, here's just a little journal page where I've just sponged some ink inside of the five wonky strips and it just gives a nice little subtle background but somewhere to put your journaling areas inside of. Another idea with these strip stencils is you can use them to trace inside of over some patterned paper or a stamped background and then trim that out and create some little panels. The other thing you can do is use them uh, to create new patterns. So if you sponge one way um, and then turn your stencil in 90 degrees to go over it the other way, then you can create some little crisscross or plaid type of patterns as well. So all of the collage sheets and the stencils are now available on our website or ask for them at your favourite craft retailer. We'll also be sharing more ideas and inspiration on our blog at darkroomdoor.com. Thanks so much for watching.